What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Creating a 5M Framework. This one is definitely a bigger update video. Uh, we created uh, a banking trip that actually works. Can you believe that? Wow, crazy, right? Uh, one of the developers on Main Power Jacks uh, actually coded a very good amount. I would say like 94% of uh actually it's more like a hundred percent of the clients and server side of the typescript i helped them a little bit on some things sweeten things out uh making things a little easier with the base and everything but other than that uh he did all the client all the server side stuff and then i obviously one helped him and then i did the uh, the ui so we are using a react typescript template that we found on what was it on github i'll link it in the description it's it's all right it's all right uh this definitely needed a lot of work uh there's also a lot of sort of unneeded stuff that i thought but uh as a web developer it's just a little made a little <laughs> react just made sense to me because i use it daily right um so i'll go through everything uh starting with the ui part of it uh so we'll go in ui and we will go into public source mpbanking.tsx. So obviously we'll we'll go right here first. So app.tsx, so this is where it runs it through. We get an event listener to open the page. Uh, this is sort of how, I mean, this is almost exactly how their template was. I changed a few things right here just to get our player cache and everything sent through. But other than that, that's pretty much it. Uh, later on, these are obviously gonna have banking IDs, but we want, uh, we want banking to be out at least for people. So then we have our mpbanking.tsx. So <laughs> I'll go through all of this a little bit. So right, we have our interface, which is our props, which is our cache, our bank, and our full name. And you'll see that uh, very soon when we go in game and actually share it, uh, where all of these sort of play in hand. Um, so going out, we have close page, obviously to close our close our UI, we just close it right there. Our inputs, so you'll see when you, you could either transfer, um, deposit or withdraw. These are all the inputs, that's how we get it. Uh, and this is how we get the value. So our value is out, we'll grab the values, we'll grab a second value if you're transferring money. Um, and then our last button and set last button, we will grab the string of that last button so we could see which, uh, which one you're clicking, if it's withdraw, deposit, or uh, transfer. Uh, refresh is basically just a, it just refreshes the UI. Uh, it does it, I'm, I'm going to be honest, I don't think it does anything. I put it in and then I was just like, this is sort of pointless because uh, I sort of overthink, overthink to myself. Yeah. And then our cache and our set bank. So we'll see our use effect here, which is our handle message. So uh, where we're grabbing our updated money is uh, our data action right here. So this is just similar send end UI scripts, uh, stuff like that. Our formatting bank, so it auto formats our numbers. So it adds the commas and it will format into bank, right? Uh, update money. So obviously this will set the new cash amounts and set the new bank amounts when uh, you take out money and put in money. Um, so handle input change. So obviously these are the two inputs from withdrawing, depositing and transferring. And then our handle back, which uh, will set your impulse to false and then clear them out. Uh, then on click, it will show your input. So for an example, uh, we have transfer and transfer takes two, it takes two inputs. So we set the first one to true and then have a secondary input value that uh, you can point out. And then withdraw deposit only needs the one banking type. So that's all we got. And let me make sure the script is running as well. So then we have send to 5M. So this is where we uh, basically send all of our details so we have a const data and our beta's but, uh, data is button type, amount, and ID. And then it goes to banking details, which I'll go into that a little later. Um, there's a few things. I, this is this is one of the, all the end UI stuff I coded obviously on uh, the client side. Other than that though, it was Jack's. All of his links, by the way, will be in the description. Go give him a sub on YouTube, follow his Twitter. Uh, man's been coding, he wants to code. Uh, has really good drive and that's why we picked him up for main power. Also, if you guys, 
I'll get I'll get into it later. If you want to join main power, just head to the website. I'll show you later if you stay that long. All right, so then we have a handle confirm, so it grabs our last button input value, and this is where it sends to 5M. It'll clear the input values and then set it to false. And then our close, obviously, would close this page. Exit. And all this stuff is basically HTML. Uh, our image source, uh, this is just an imported image for main power, and then it adds banking, and then it says welcome, full name, uh, your checking account, and your current balance, and then we formatted right here, which this line is actually not needed. Um, so we'll just get rid of this. So we have H3, just like that. And then we have a width 100. Uh, I don't really have to explain class names. If you don't really know HTML or CSS, it's a little harder to understand. But if you do, good. So then we have a class name, banking button. So this just formats, uh, formats everything, styles our buttons. And then uh, this is how we grab what the button was called. So withdraw, deposit, transfer. Uh, and then here we have the show input. So we have show input equals true and it will grab all this input. We have placeholder text for ID and money, uh, and then obviously handle confirm. So on the confirm button, this will send, or you can go back. And it does this repeatedly for these two. And then we have our close button, and then uh, we do display your cash on hand. So off that, that was a lot, I know. Sorry if you uh, couldn't get through that, uh, but we'll go into our server.tsx. Uh, a lot of this is a little repeated because we are still we are still bug testing. So, but we have our opening menu. So it will grab all your initial data right here. So it grabs all this initial data and then it will send it to our open client, which is perfect. I mean, I pur purposely did this as instead of querying to SQL because we just wanted to grab the initial data. We don't want to grab everyone's data. We don't want to grab all of your data. We just need certain things. That's what banking is. Uh, and then so. Jax has the withdrawal, so he grabs everything here, uh, and we use our new swap function in players where it swaps money, so this uh, prioritizes cash. So if you withdraw, you want cash, obviously, and you take that amount, and it will just swap it. So you'll bank, your bank will be swapped with your cash. And then we have a set timeout here, which will update your, update your cash right here. So this calls that updated cash, and this is the part I sort of contributed here. Um, it'll update it. And it takes a second, obviously. That's what banks do, they take time. Um, realistically, if you wanted to, you could just put it to zero or one, um, but that would be up to you. Uh, deposit, same exact features, uh, same with transfer. Transfer actually does a little differently uh, because we don't really want to put transfer out right now, in a way. It, it'd be very easy, uh, we just edit our function and we add a transfer. Um, pretty simple, but right now it just displays a chat message, so we'll get to it. All right, uh, and then we have our config here. So our config uh, displays where banks are, gets the cords enabled blips as well. Uh, target, soon, soon. Or we use polyzones, it depends. Um, <laughs> that was one of the things we talked about. So in here, this is uh, the client side that Jax did. Uh, once again, all of his links in the description. Be sure to follow him, guys. Be sure to follow him. So he imports the config and has this uh, simple delay here. Checks if there's a bank. So I did contribute with this sleep function, or not function, but uh, variable. So we have sleep equal to default to 10 seconds. Uh, and this is just a basic call of basically a loop, right? Um, obviously, we have an NUI event, which opens the menu, banking, grabs your cash, everything like that. <clears throat> Similarly, we have the update client, so this is what uh, gets changed. So your new money, your new cash. Um, management is gonna be transferring, but right now it's just it's just sitting there, okay? And you I call back for bank details. Um, so, this is how we're getting the info. So when you submitting a withdrawal or anything, uh, we check the type, so we check the banking details. So we get uh, B type is the button type, so that's your withdraw, deposit, or transfer. Obviously, we check for this. And if you're withdrawing, then we parse int an amount, and we do a parse int because the amount is set to a string when it comes in. Um, which I could actually remove this log here because you guys don't need that. Uh, so then we, it's the same thing with deposit parse amount, and then obviously transfers a little differently, and then we have callback success. 
close menu obviously closes the page all right then the function blips so your config grabs all the blips sets the blips all that fun stuff and then we have a blink target so this is the this is the loop that he was making in typescript and this is why i sort of added the sleep so by defaulted it is defaulted to 10 seconds you could raise that and it really wouldn't do much um basically so we have a sleep and then once you're 20 about 20 20 distance away it goes down to 1.5 seconds and then when you're on it it goes to uh 10 seconds right so then you could just click it and then it opens the menu all right now we're gonna go into the menu i know this is a little, a little longer than uh, i expected as well so we'll go in here so i'll just show you guys how it looks how it works and everything so you're gonna go up to a bank right now you press e boom checking and then your amount uh once again we did we did remove this <laughs> we did remove this double dollar sign but uh so you have this on hand you can close it right here you can reopen it it says your name up here uh which i need to lower that but so if you withdraw so say we want say we want 500 dollars. so you'll see this go up to 3k this go down to 95 right we'll confirm 95 3k uh, obviously transfer doesn't work but if it were to I would put in some number whoops I would put in some numbers and an ID obviously it's going to send us a banking transfer uh, payment that was denied bank is currently under maintenance deposit deposit our $500 right back boom 10,000 25,000 and that's about it uh, banking UI is obviously going to change a bit uh, there's some things I need to do with it but uh, stay tuned for all those updates be sure to follow Jax, and I will show you guys the website before I leave real quick. So if you want to become part of the main power team, you could do that. So obviously you can read all this. Uh, we have two Discord servers. This one joins main power Discord server, which make sure you guys join. You get the updates instantly. Uh, and then this one joins that general support server. Contact, if you guys want to join us, partner with us. Maybe make a server with us, partner with us. Uh, technically looking to buy, but... If you guys want to get custom scripts from us, sure. And then other. Um, obviously, we take Discord and then your message. Uh, our docs, all of our docs, listen, listen, they should be updated. They're going to be updated. They're going to be updated by Wednesday, okay? You're going to have banking in here. You're going to have more, all of the player functions. All right, errors. This is for main power, guys. Main power, report your error. Report your error. If you run a main power server, report it in here with your Discord. Make sure you're in the Discord as well and explain the bug. Just copy and paste what the error is. And then Discord, you could join this. You could look at all of our staff pages here. Uh, obviously, we have me, uh, Jax, which is uh, who helped a lot on the banking, did a great job on it. Make sure you follow all of his links. You can go here. All of his links will also be in the description. And inquiries obviously go to the same thing, report a bug. All right, guys, that's about it, though. Deuces.